Hi, I'm Jim Lear with Guideway Financial in Austin. A lot of people are very concerned about what's going on in the markets and with the coronavirus. And I wanted to provide a few comments that hopefully will make you feel a little better. First, let's look at the S&P 500 since 1993. Here you can see the current drop at the right. It's not as large as the previous drops, but it's certainly very steep. But we have seen disasters in the past. I don't want to sound flippant because there will be long-term economic and financial damage, but I see no reason that we won't recover from it eventually, just like all the previous disasters. Furthermore, Franklin Roosevelt said, we have nothing to fear, but fear itself. Unfortunately, the news media is great at spewing not only fear, but ignorance. We've repeatedly complained that when the stock market drops, bond investors are often doing very well. Did you ever hear the headline that this has been one of the best years for government bond investors as of a few weeks ago? Ah, of course not. One thing we tell clients is that time eats volatility. Roughly speaking, returns grow linearly with time so that a 16 year investment has 16 times the returns of a one year investment, at least statistically speaking. However, uh, the volatility is measured by the standard deviation uh, that grows with the square root of time so that the volatility of a 16 year investment is only four times the volatility of a one year investment. The math is a little more complicated, but you get the idea. Over time, returns outgrow volatility. The difference between these two curves shown by the drop lines is the return that we can anticipate with a reasonably high probability. We see that we should anticipate losses over the short run before the crossover. Losses are normal. Cutting short your investment in troubled times is probably the worst thing you can possibly do. Do not let short-term emotions drive your long-term investment decisions. By the way, for people that are in retirement or those nearing retirement, there are special strategies for producing a resilient portfolio and income. Check out our three-part series on resilient portfolios at guidewayfinancial.com slash blog. To summarize, things seem really scary right now and emotions are high. This is the kind of time when people start making self-destructive choices because of their emotions. But time has mitigated the crises of the past and we need to let time do its work. Above all, even if time doesn't fix everything, it doesn't mean we'll be eating dog food in retirement. If markets do more poorly than we anticipate, then we may need to make temporary belt tightening and cut back on some discretionary spending. Our joke is that instead of going to Paris, France, we may need to go to Paris, Texas. Things may not be as great as we had hoped, but they're going to be okay. I'm Jim Lear, and I wish you well.